Hey everyone! Welcome to another Final Fantasy XIV video. This is the first in three videos that's going to be covering the Alexander Raid, which is, uh, which is that guy. Right over there. If you're familiar with Final Fantasy in general, you're probably familiar with Alexander the Giant City Robot. Well, 14, they made a raid out of him. 12 sections. Now this video, the first one, is going to cover the first uh, three sections. Do not question my sheepies. Praise the sheeps. And uh, that would be <laughs> this arm. So he's made up of three parts, and this video is going to comprise of the first four. It's called Alexander Gordius, and that is this arm right here. Yes, the raid is climbing up that arm to get to the top. So, yeah, my wife is taking a nap, so that's why she's not here. But, uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoy it. Look at this. By the way, he doesn't start out looking like this. Before you start the raid, he's actually underwater. And as you progress through it, he changes until he gets to this. This is his final form after everything's said and done. I'm not going to spoil why. So, but yeah. Hope you all enjoy. This time I actually recorded commentary. So, that way you can hear me kind of discuss the fights and some other stuff. But let's get right on to it and we'll start with part one, which is right there, the Fist of the Father. Praise my sheeps. Alright everybody, so this is going to be a little different, um, in that I'm essentially reacting to my own recording. So we're going to be going through the first Wing of Alexander, as I said in the intro, this is Alexander 1, 2, 3, and 4. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to kind of explain what's going on in these as best I can remember them. I actually, like I said, I'm recording this after the fact. You can see the time I played this at like 8 o'clock at night. So this is the first wing, or the first section. I gotta say, I love how everything's kind of tilted because essentially what you're doing, as I showed you in the intro, Alexander's a big fucking robot and right now we're climbing into his arm and oh yeah, you're supposed to avoid the uh, steamy bits. I am not good at that. So this first little bit, uh, actually does have a mini boss right here. It's real simple. You kill him. He spawns adds, and if you were doing this at level, you kind of want to manage the adds, but they disappear. Like you can see the ad over there, the Strum doll. They disappear when he dies. So, yeah. <laughs> the music in this this raid though is so weird. I'm playing my Red Mage, by the way, through this. I could have played my Dancer, but my Red Mage is simply better geared, and at the level uh, that things get scaled down, we're still effectively overscaled for this. It's kind of funny that way. Like, we're just... You kill Faust, and then the two adds are going to vanish. This one's real simple. It's, 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 it's. Now they're going to trigger the cutscene, and I'm going to watch it. This is the cool thing, is all dungeons and raids in Final Fantasy have cutscenes like this. Now what that means, that Hangar 8's going to be sealed, is that means people who are not watching the cutscene have started the fight. So the fight's actually already going on. I'm not even in the fight yet. Nor is my wife. Um, see? And then we can immediately jump to the fight. So that is a handy thing they added. And now I'm in the fight. This is the old, this is the main boss. Uh, now, unlike Eden, when I'm being targeted by a missile, I'm just going to get eat, hit by repeat missiles. I completely missed that. I didn't even know it was happening, actually. We are so overgeared. Look how fast this boss is dying. Now, here's the thing. The big thing about this fight, other than avoiding all these explosions, and his frontal cone AoE that he does there, where the tank's supposed to keep him away, is that door in the back is going to open. And when it does, he spawns a duplicate of himself, which I think is right about now. Is it? No, he's not doing it yet. Oh no, he is. There it is. So he spawns a duplicate with the same health that he had when he spawned the duplicate. You can see him over there, uh, right next to all the party members. Here's the thing. When one of the two dies, the other starts casting self-destruct. 
we barely kill him before that self-destruct goes off. And if self-destruct goes off, the entire group dies. So see, look at that. Look how close that cast bar got to finishing. Alright. That was the entirety of the first section. We're on to section two. So the first section is kind of like his, the basically Alexander's fist. Now we're in Alexander's wrist, or cuff. Is how we're moving up. We're climbing up through his arm. Trying to get to one of his cores, basically. Welcome to that. Now this one, this section, unlike Eden, Alexander was still made, uh, I think it was like five, six years ago at the time of recording this, and Alexander was made with the old idea, which had trash. Eden, the, the raid I showed you previously, has no trash. None. It's just the boss fights. This section is basically a wave. So, like, we climb up through his arm here. Yeah, so we do got to follow everybody. And I, like, I still like how everything's tilted. It's weird and freaky. Uh, but basically, we have to get through these trash packs. Also, you can't see the chat box, because uh, I cover it up for, you know, just in case. But uh, one of the people in the party, when pointed out that me and my wife watched videos of this, you can see my wife right there, Milliet, running around. Um, our characters, by the way, are brother and sister. But... They mentioned that we didn't need to watch strategy videos until the last four fights. That is not true. Because <laughs> some of these fights, even with, like, the power creep that we have, um, get a little spicy. Not here. Not in this first set. I don't even remember what the last two are. Oh, that's holy. I know there's a lot of visual clutter on screen. For those of you who want to play this, you can actually turn most of that down. There are player options to turn down, like, effects from yourself, from parties, etc. Like I said, this, this particular section is quite literally waves of enemies. It's, it's just, it, it's like a wave survival fight. Our primary enemy, by the way, for this is uh, Goblins. Now, there are some mechanics, apparently. You're supposed to, like, get in the giant robots and, like, move bombs around and stuff. And I didn't bother doing that, so we can just... Wee. And, yeah, this, this one's literally just this. It is the simplest freaking thing. Which sucks for me, because uh, I'm playing a red mage. And red mages have fairly lengthy cast times for a lot of stuff. Uh, what you're seeing when I cast is you'll see me get a buff called Dual Cast. And when I use Dual Cast, it makes my next cast instant. So I cast Jolt, next spell I cast is instant, and I kind of alternate. Yeah, this is me showing you where my scaling is. Like, everything is scaled down despite the high item level, so... That's what that was for. I just realized one of the party members' names is Mac and Cheese. Delicious. But yeah, this is literally this entire thing. See, there's a bomb. Someone's supposed to pick up the bomb like that and drag it away from the group. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> but this is literally the entire fight here. We're just killing goblins until they stop coming. Surprisingly, it takes a while. Like, if you notice, our HP's not really moving. No one's really taking any damage. This really is simple. That's me doing my, uh melee combo. In fact, I could take a minute to explain how red mages work because there's nothing else here. So, the idea of a red mage, if you see those two little meters right above my hotbars, the one that says 66 and 64 and it just changed. So, red mages in this game, you build up black and white mana and then you use that to perform a melee combo attack. So, basically, I spell cast and then I'll leap to a target do a melee combo and run away. And once you're high enough level, which I can't do here, because my level is scaled down to 60, uh, you actually get special spells that you can access once you complete the combo appropriately. So it's basically, 
cast a bunch of spells till the little gem turned red, then perform the melee attacks, although I'm using an AoE melee attack for fun, until your mana's spent, and then just rinse and repeat. So you're basically comboing things. It seems chaotic, but uh, it's not as chaotic as I find WoW Combat to be. Yes, yes, ready make the big guns. Goblins talk really silly in this game, and I kind of love it. These are all Illuminati. Bad goblins. Bad, bad goblins. The best part is, is we're doing this for that quest on the right that says spare parts. In order to complete this, me and my wife are going to have to run Alexander a grand total of 60 times. Not every wing, we just have to do... 60 instances. See, I'm trying to get those axles. Alright. Now it's time for part 3 of Alexander. I love this one. Watch this intro. He's like, hey? What? And then everyone looks at me. I kind of love it. That's uh, Sid, Mide, and uh, Round Rocks, by the way. Round Rocks is the little gobbo girl. She has pink, that's how you know she's a girl. And then they just go running off and leave my happy ass here. Oh, you can't see it in chat, but somebody's yelling Pepsi Man. It'll make sense when you see the boss of the arm. And yes, that is somebody with a chocobo head. That is a thing. My wife has that. When she's doing her crafting stuff, she wears a yellow sundress with a yellow chocobo hat. This one, you just avoid the explosions. Again, I want to reiterate, we're in here, but this is inside the arm of a giant robot. <laughs> and if you know anything about the lore of Alexander from the Final Fantasy games, this actually hews pretty close to it. Our tanks of Dark Knight. That's what the spikes are from. Yeah, these fights are more like a Nexia from WoW. So, you know, a couple of trash pulls and then the boss. Obviously, don't stand in the goo. You don't you don't want to stand in the goo as I sit here trying to, to cast spells before it dies. A lot of classes have a lot of instant attacks. Like, if you're playing a melee class, um, you really don't have a resource to manage. You used to, but you don't now. Melee classes, they just have cooldowns. The negative, of course, or really not even melee, physical classes. So if you're playing like a, a dancer, which is ranged physical, or an archer, you're managing cooldowns rather than managing, like, resources. Even I don't have to worry about... But yeah, this is so weird. This is the boss. Goop. Behold Pepsi Man. His butt is beautiful. Praise his bottom. I'm telling you, the music in this, this freaking dungeon is so weird. See, this time they actually wait, so we get to go, Wee! <laughs> Obviously, you don't want to touch the electricity, and yes, you can, and I totally get knocked into it at some point. But yeah, this is, we're fighting Living Liquid. His whole thing is AoEs. So again, it's avoid the AoEs. You'll see some where he does, like, cones where I have to move. Like that. That cone, you want to be in the spot where obviously it's not hitting. Otherwise you get stunned. And I'm just staying off to the side. I started casting the wrong spell. I do that sometimes, I'll hit the wrong spell. Because um, some of the spells for Red Mage take, like, five seconds to cast. That, you kind of want to watch where you are, because you drop puddles and explode puddles. And Here's me leaping in to do my melee combo. And then I run away. Yes, by the way, I have killed myself with that backflip. There are fights where you can fall off the edge of a platform, and I have mis-aimed and flown right off the edge. <laughs> oh, now he's a big old hand. He's getting handsy. He's also going to summon a duplicate of himself, I think, at one point, if I remember. And then he, like, merges with his duplicate. 
Was this where he knocks everyone back? Yes, and there I go into the electricity. <laughs> I just get knocked right away. I, I completely forgot that that was a mechanic that happened. It's fine. Yeah, see, you basically don't want to ever be in front of a boss in, in certain circumstances. There are some uh, bosses that you fight that you do need to be... Yeah, see, there was two. Then he remerged because we're phasing him so fast. And then in this phase, he mixes the last two, so he does a... Well, look at him wiggle. Look at him wiggle. Look at that butt. His wiggly butt. So this is when he merges both sets of things... So now we have, like, these water pools that you don't want to get in. I use uh, Embolden, that thing I just did. You can see on the side people have, like, five, four. It's like a stack. It's a buff that I can do that increases my... Oh, this was fun. So he polar polarizes people. If you have the same polarity, you need to be near each other because then you get bounced. And if you have different polarities, you need to be away from each other because then you get dragged in. But as you can see, he's about to go down. He's, you know, there's not even a point in me using Manification. He just starts AoEing in anger. And that was boss three. One boss to go for this video. And it's the core, the burden of the father. I forget which one this is. I absolutely forgot. <laughs> I need to see. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, so this fight is silly. And I didn't get the cool thing to happen to me. Happened to my wife. I look so mad. Look at me, I'm like, yeah, that's right. Let's do this thing. Why does somebody look like... Oh, there's my wife with the wolf ears. She just likes the wolf ears. They're cute. Alright. Yes, I'm, and by the way, when I click that little macro button, I yell for good King Mogomog. So this one is all about, again, avoiding AoEs. That's what most of these fights consist of. And then what we have to do is destroy legs. So we're trying to destroy a leg. What's funny is that, oh, these you have to run in and blow them up before they reach people. Because they all, like, target somebody, and if they get to them, they can hurt them. But you want to pop them, like zits. And I'm trying to do my duty to pop the zits. There we go. Now, at some point during this fight, he will actually suck a tank and one DPS up and throw them away. And he did that to my wife. What they do is they get sucked through a tube, and they have to, like, fight an ad, and then they get sucked back into the fight. And he did that to my wife and the off-tank. I did not get absorbed. But yeah, basically, it's kill both legs and then beat up the manipulator, which is the main part of the boss, I guess. These, I want to say, you have to intercept. Yeah, so these, you intercept the lines to take the hits, because they're just going to keep shooting at the target. So you want to, like, spread the damage around. But as you can see, we just kind of blitz through this fight. None of the ones in this first wing are really all that problematic. In truth. So, you know, that's good. But yeah. I hope y'all are enjoying these. I enjoy kind of recording these. They're fun to watch back. You know, I don't really want to make guides or anything, so... I forgot what Mortal Revolution is. Oh yeah, it's just, boom, he hits people. He gets mad. And then we just beat the crap out of him. That's pretty much it. Like, I got zapped and just all this. Judgment Nisi. Alright. What is even happening? Oh yeah, AoEs. Whee! <laughs> yes, I just jumped forward. God, this music is so weird, even listening to it back now. And he's about to die. So, as always, I want to thank you all so very much for watching. Join my Patreon, all that good stuff. And hey, be kind to each other, stay nerdy, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.